We're going to cram a lot of information into a short amount of time. Usually I have this presentation set out for an hour. And so we're going to cram a lot into 40 minutes. Uh, I've cut some bits, some of the uh, pieces out of this presentation. But I like these presentations to be somewhat interactive. So if you turn your eyes to the webinar control panel for me really quick, and you find that orange button with the white arrow, below that orange button with the white arrow is a hand raising button. Can all of you please just raise your hand really quick, just so I could see you put your hands up? Excellent. Excellent. On my particular control panel, I get to see who's in the room with us. And so I can see when you raise your hands and when you lower your hands. And so you'll notice that the little button changes shape when your hand is up. And when you click it again, it puts your hand down. And so I might ask you throughout the presentation to just interact with me uh, regarding raising and lowering your hand. All right. So that's how I want to uh, make sure that you're all paying attention. So one more time, raise your hand. Yes. Yes. Thank you. And I'm going to put your hands down. Let's get started. I got four strategies for you for stable investment income. Now, first thing I want to do is make sure you know that any information charts or examples that I present to you in the next 40 minutes, they're for illustration, educational purposes only. They should not be considered advice or any endorsement to purchase or sell any security or financial instrument. We do not, cannot give any financial advice during this, this particular presentation. No employees or persons associated with this are registered or authorized to give you financial advice during this presentation. And we do not trade on anyone's behalf and we do not recommend or receive any payments for any broker. Whew. Definitely want to keep the folks in black helicopters off my front lawn. All right. So the scoop here is that just so you know who I am. By the way, how many with the show of hands know who I am? If, you do, if you've heard of me before, please raise your hand. All right. All right. All right. All right. How many of you with the show of hands you've never heard of A.J. Brown before? All right, I founded a company called Trading Trainer back in 2002. Uh, people often recognize me as the world's most disciplined option trader. I think they actually, I've heard them also say he's the most efficient option trader. It's because I like to spend as little time in front of the computer and as little of my money and as little of my energy and as little of any sort of emotional. Like there are people who will teach you how to trade, but you'll be staying up nights worrying and other nights you'll be celebrating but that emotional up and down how many of the show of hands have ever had any sort of emotional up and down in your trading or in your investing that is not something i am into i like just to have steady income almost like i've invested in a supercharged mutual fund so they call me the world's most disciplined option trader i've been doing trading since 1997 in my programs i've been publishing daily insights for my traders since 2002, five days a week. And there's an ebook out there that I wrote that people have had for years called The Successful Strategies of Successful Option Traders, Seven Strategies of Successful Option Traders. In other words, I've been doing this a while. Main thing I want to tell you about me before we get started is about my foundation. This is near and dear to my heart. It's where I take inner city gangbangers off the street and I teach them how to invest. Started in 2003 with 14 and uh, kids out of the, the barrios of Denver, Colorado. Uh, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, five of them didn't make it through my program. They just didn't want to apply themselves, but nine of them did. And when those original nine uh, graduated, I actually took $2,000 out of my pocket for each one of them. Here's the interesting part. Please pay attention. We only were able to use the public library computer system for 30 minutes a day. So we had to be extremely efficient because they would kick us off. I gave each one of these guys $2,000. I thought I was going to just write that off like I would never see it again. How I'll let you know that all nine of them paid me back my $2,000. They all wound up buying themselves computers. And at the time, back in the early 2000s, they got themselves DSL back in their apartments or wherever they were living at the time. And one of them actually put himself with his trading income through Denver University. Since then, we've been running our program every summer since then. And the last summer, we're now based in Chicago, where we've got a partnership teaching these inner city kids uh, with the Chicago Board of Options Exchange. We take about 300 kids off the street every summer and teach them how to invest. In fact, all the folks you talk to, if you ever call us at the office at Trading Trainer, 
you'll find out very quickly that none of us take a profit from the education we sell to you guys. Instead, we donate our time so that we can take the profits from any of the trading trainer education programs and give it to this foundation. That's how we keep the foundation running. You might say, well, why do your coaches want to work for you then if they don't make any money? Well, they make money off of their trading. In fact, we all trade full time. So that's another thing. If you think about how many people are on the phone right now and you think about how many people are buying programs at you know, 200, 500, thousand dollars today you probably have realized that some of these educators are making a fortune you might also realize some of them probably haven't traded in a long time they're doing better selling education and that's fine but whenever you talk to somebody a trading trainer you'll realize you're talking to a full-time trader because we don't make money off of the education we donate it to these kids and instead we have to trade full time in order to keep ourselves going. So if you have any other questions about our foundation, I'll give you a link at the end of the presentation where you can learn more about that uh, foundation if you're interested. With that said, let's talk about the content here. These are called instant income calendar investments. I'm going to tell you about four strategies. What I like about these are these are less subject to wild swings or devastating losses. In the beginning of December, we had a real darn downturn in the market. How many with the show of hands? we're there we're trying to trade that we're trying to invest it possibly losing from absolutely these type of investments breeze right through that type of uh wild swing they also are immune to downturns they definitely can be structured i'm going to show you today how you can structure them so they'll actually profit to downturns because i know there's quite a few of us out here who think that the market is completely overbought and that it's ready to pop at any moment. I'll show you how to structure these so that if there is a big pop, you're gonna wind up in Fat City. Also, they have built-in profit buffers, and you can profit buffer these things upside down. And the key here is we wanna earn more than 6% per month on your investment. So if you can, on your notepad right now, write down that 6% number. Here's why. And I know you've seen this before, many of you, but just, Humor me for a moment. If I were to give you $50,000 today or give you the choice for a penny that doubles every day for a month, which would you take? Let's work it out. So you got the $50,000 in cash. Day one, you have a penny. Day two, you have two pennies. Day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven. Gosh, that $50,000 looks pretty nice after a full week into the month. We're almost... 25% through the month, right? A quarter of the way through the month and still don't even have a dollar, but let's keep going. All right, day eight, day nine, day 10, $5.12, keep it coming. Here's 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, end of the second week, we're at $81.92, still nowhere near the $50,000. We're already almost halfway through the month and we're nowhere near the $50,000. We've been working, doubling our, our penny every, every day for the month, but we're still nowhere near $50,000. Let's go another week to day 21. Still not there, but we're getting close, $10,485.76. All right, all of a sudden, by day 24, we're almost all the way through the month, and we're finally above $50,000. We're on the back week of the month and we finally have 83,886. This is really telling because we've gone through the whole month probably sweating it, but then what happens? Now on the back end of the month is when the real gains make and if you go the whole month, you walk away with $21,474,836.48. That's a big number. We call it compounding interest, and that's what we take advantage of here. I'm not sure if this can actually be attributed to Albert Einstein, but somebody said compound interest is the most powerful force in the universe, and if you use it, it's good stuff. So where does that 6% roll in? If you earn 6% on your money every month, your portfolio will more than double every year. That's how that works. If you do simple interest on 12 months of 6%, you're going to double your portfolio. That means if you start with $1,000, actually, humor me with this quiz, just so that I make sure I, I, I 
brought this fact home for you. What minimum returns must you make monthly on your portfolio to more than double your monthly annual, your money annually? Half a percent, one and a half percent, five percent, six percent, ten percent. Six percent. All right. That means if you have a thousand dollar portfolio, that's going to go to. I passed it. Thirty two thousand nine hundred and eighty seven dollars in five years. And in 10 years, you're a millionaire, right? 1,088,100. That's if you start with a $1,000 portfolio. We actually have folks who are in our program who started with as little as an $800 portfolio. But here's the other best part. If you have a $100,000 portfolio, then that means every year, if you just focus on 6% gains per month, you're going to generate over a hundred and thousand dollars you're going to generate 101 219 dollars and 65 cents per year now if you think about the average white collar salary in the u.s which is about eighty seven thousand dollars you're making more and i'm not talking about in the cities like san francisco washington dc boston new york la i'm talking about in the old the whole country you're going to be making more just investing your portfolio than those people who are making white collar jobs. And the best part about it is they're having to work salaried positions, which are usually about 60 to 70 hours per week. You'll see how much time we put into it. Very little. So what are we actually investing in? Again, get your pencil ready. We're doing something called selling option premium. So what the heck is this option premium? Well, an option price, if you look up the option price in the CBOE on any of those big boards, you should know that the option price is a combination of two pieces. Again, please take some notes here. The in the money piece and the premium piece. Any option price you look up, you can calculate what the in the money piece is and whatever's left over is the premium value. So some of you are saying, wait a second, back up, Brown. What is an option? So options, financial instrument that's a derivative. They're typically bought and sold by people to hedge risk against stocks or indexes or ETFs. But again, that's not how I'm using them here. Instead, I'm selling that premium. And here are the four simple transactions. Please write these down. We're writing covered calls. We're writing covered puts, and that's flipping that covered call upside down. Covered calls, as you know, hit their max profit to the top. Covered puts hit their max profit if the market goes against them. We write covered calls against leaps. Basically, we supercharge the covered call writing process. If you're an academic or a experienced trader, you'll know that as a bull call diagonal debit spread. And we're writing covered puts against leaps. We're so supercharging those covered put writings. I'm going to show you about each one of these transactions today. Let's start with the basic. So writing a covered call. Now, I just took the closing prices of Amazon today. I'm using Amazon as an example because everybody knows what Amazon is. Almost everybody is a customer of Amazon. How many of you with the show of hands don't know what Amazon is? Right. Everybody knows who Amazon is. So I'm using that. This is not necessarily the company I would write covered calls against, but it's a good one to do an example on. So Amazon closed today at 1813.98. Now, I could sell the May 1820 call just about at the money, erroring on the side out of the money, and I would get a coupon, basically. I would get a discount. If I sold this 76.75 against that 18.13.98, I would get an instant dividend of $7,675 per option contract sold. So what happens if Amazon closes above 18.20 by May 17th? 
I'd get that 1820. So that would give me a small profit, but I also get to keep that profit of selling that premium up front for a total profit of $82.77. Works out to about 4.8% ROI. Now again, this is not the most optimal trade. Amazon is not the most optimal underlying symbol. And also, this is what we call a buy right. You'll actually see when I show you a live example of what I've done just in the past couple of months, that we like to leg into the positions which triples or quadruples these type of returns. But just on a basic, simple, worst case scenario trade on a symbol that may not be the best symbol, 4.8% for doing just about nothing but letting time pass by. But what happens if Amazon is flat? It doesn't go up. Four point four percent ROI, and I'm going to do it again and again and again because I don't actually get exercise out of the stock. It just keeps reducing the price, and I get it's kind of like owning a rental property. And if I own that rental property, I'm renting it out and collecting rental income on that property. Except this is not a property where I have to go in the middle of the night and take care of tenants, tenants, trash, and toilets. I'm renting out my underlying symbol. But what if it drops by May 17th? What's cool about this is there's a built-in profit buffer. Now I'm going to show you how to collar a protective put as well to give us unlimited insurance and increase our return on risk. But even inherently, because we've got this coupon, our break-even price is at 1737.23. We created a discount against Amazon. And therefore, Amazon can drop by $76.75, and we're still in the in the in the black. All right, here are some of the gains we did with uh, covered calls. 17% on Micron, and I'm not. I'm going to kind of fast forward because again, I'm watching my clock, and I want to. I want to respect your time. 15% on Activision when the stock treaded water. 14% on All Scripts when the stock took a dump. All right. So just to make sure we're paying attention to what I've said so far, what does investing by selling premium create? Does it create an instant dividend? Does it create a discount on the security? Does it create a profit buffer? Does it create an expiring coupon? Answer as many of those as you think is right. It's actually all of them. We get an instant dividend. We get a discount on the index, the ETF. We get a profit buffer, an expiring coupon. Some more gains, 21 when the stock went up, 12% when the stock traded water, 17% when the stock took a big dump. So now, I want to supercharge this. How can I lower our investment? How can I increase, increase our returns? And how can I even convert any sort of margin trade into a cash trade? Should I sell out in time options? Shall I replace the security with options trading at parity? Should I give up and buy mutual funds or is what I'm talking about just not possible? What do you think? And while I'm waiting for you to answer, Gregory asks, you have to sell 18,000 plus to sell Amazon options. Gregory, Amazon was an example for people to wrap their head around. And RK writes, how about paying margin for shorting options? RK, you don't have to pay margins when you have them covered. That's why they're called covered calls and covered puts. Good questions, good questions. Okay, which is it? Sell out in time options, replace the security with options trading at parity. Should we give up and buy mutual funds or we cannot? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna replace any options or any securities with options trading at parity. So now you might say, well, what the heck are options trading at parity? Now, a lot of people get confused. Please take notes on this, options trading at parity. A lot of people get confused on this with something called synthetic equivalencies. How many with the show of hands have ever heard of synthetic equivalencies? 
That's where, for instance, you could replace a long stock with buying a call and shorting a put. Or if you take a vertical debit spread, a vertical credit spread is a synthetic equivalency. You can take a call condor and replace it with an iron condor. That's a synthetic equivalency. But that's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is where you have an option premium and you realize that it is at its greatest when it's at the money. But when you go deep in the money, we actually optimize the option so that it has very little premium and we target less than 5%. And the value of the option then becomes completely intrinsic value. In other words, if we use deep in the money options to substitute for our securities, they behave exactly like the underlying security. Dollar for dollar, only at a cheaper price. So, okay, I'm gonna go deep in the money, but how far out in time should that option B. So let me give you some statistics right here. I know folks have been talking to you a lot about day trading and stuff like that. That's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about here, on average, our folks are getting into trades that last between four to five months. We simply trade the same position we adjust it over a four to five month period. Some people, their trades are lasting two months. Other people are asking seven, but the bell curve on average, they last four to five months. Now to invest their whole portfolio, whether their portfolio is $800 or whether it's up in the seven figures, like $7 million, those portfolios on average are invested in three to seven positions, not thousands of positions, simply three to seven positions three to seven positions, four to five months. What that works out to be is that we cycle into new positions, one to two positions every quarter. So we're not sitting there in front of the computer. I told you I'm a very efficient trader. We're not sitting there. In fact, I've got better things to do. When I left my last job in 2003, uh, for me, job is an acronym for just over broke. The last thing I want to do is create another job for myself. I got too many important things. I've got my foundation. I've got my uh, physical fitness. I've got my family. The last thing I wanted to do was create another eight hour or in the case of an open market, six and a half hour a day trading habit. So instead, we're cycling out of our positions one to two times per quarter. Each of our positions is lasting four to five months. Our whole portfolio is vested in about three to seven positions. So with that said, if our positions are lasting about four or five months, we want to buy our back month options far out in time so that the substitute option expiration will not in interfere with selling many cycles of premium. In other words, the last thing I want to do is be renting out my stock and getting premiums every month and then all of a sudden have my stock dissolve on me. Does that make sense? How many to show hands that makes sense? So I want to make sure I go far enough out in time that I can collect as many premiums as possible. Easy, right? So we use leaps, long-term equity anticipation securities, right? So here's an example. We talked about Amazon a little bit earlier at 18, 13, 98 per share. But if we wanted to buy a substitute leap that has 95% intrinsic value and only 5% extrinsic value, which is our rule of thumb, write down those numbers, we would only have to pay $898.65 we would buy this January 2020 leap. It's the 960 expiration, but look how big a discount we get. We lowered our cost basis more than half on this thing. You get that? Let's keep going so I can work this out for you. So we buy that back month option and then we sell that front month premium. We get that instant dividend again, but now it's on a much smaller cost basis. So what happens if we go up? If we go up, we make the spread 860. So that's a little bit of a loss. However, we made that premium up front. And so we actually walk away with still 4.9% ROI, a little bit better than before. But here's where it really makes sense. What if Amazon is flat? What if we find stocks that simply go sideways? 
we get to, again, rent out that Amazon back month option and collect the 76.75, 10% so far, and do it again and again and again. How many of you with the show of hands, you're starting to get a picture? What if it drops? Well, we still have that same profit buffer of 76.75. So it can go all the way down to 769.75 and we still are in the black. Here's some of the gains we did with leaps. 43% on Yandex, 9% on Guest Jeans when we went sideways, 2% on Bloomin' Brands. This is if you like onions. 59 trading days when the stock took a dump. All right, let me stop right there. How many with the show hands are sort of following how we can take a basic premium trade and then we could supercharge it? Let's talk about now how we can collar and protect this thing. So if it does work against our profit buffer, we can still kick some butt. So how can we drastically reduce our return on risk? Should we sell half as much option premium? Should we sell out in time options? Maybe we should collar the investment by marrying a protective option, or we just can't, it's impossible. What do you think? Let's go with collaring the investment. I'm just gonna fast forward through the gains. I want you to get a special image of this particular chart because I'm gonna show you a live example. This is a trade that a lot of the folks I did uh, as well. Um, this is a actual log worksheet that we give everybody to work out. So here's Ericsson. We bought Ericsson the stock back on November 23rd. In fact, I've got my thinkorswim open. Let me bring it up to a chart on Ericsson so I can show you what's going down. Okay, this is the Amazon stock. There we go. So we bought this thing and you'll notice this was a channel or we bought this thing back on November 23rd right here at this low and then we sold that premium the December 9 premium we got ourselves 20 cents for selling that premium then what we did was we bought a protective put we bought that protective put for six cents notice the difference in time we bought the stock at 1123 November 23rd we didn't sell the premium until December 14th and we sold the put. That was a Friday. On Monday, we sold the put as protection. And then a week later, we got to keep that 20 cents. Time went by and we got to keep that premium and start all over again. The next piece of the puzzle, of course, is we liquidated that protective put. We didn't need it anymore, but notice that protective put, we bought it for six cents we sold it for 25 cents. So in our program, we've actually turned the hedging of our premium position into not a cost center, but into a profit center. Not many people have taken that spin on this strategy. So our insurance that we bought for six cents, we were able to, when we didn't need it anymore, sell it for 25 cents. We started the process all over again about 15 days later. We went ahead and sold the, um, we sold the February premium. We bought the insurance. This time, the insurance was a little bit more expensive. Instead of six cents, it was 20 cents. We let time go by and guess what? That premium expired worthless. We wound up keeping the stock again. We sold the put insurance this time for 25 cents. Didn't get as big a profit, but still made a profit, covered all of our commissions. We did it again with the March. We sold our premium. The March actually got exercised on us. So our trade ended. Notice, let's see, when did we start? November 23rd, we ended just a couple weeks ago on, on March 15th. So November, uh, December 23rd, February, uh, January 23rd, about three months, less than three months. And we walked away with close to 24% ROI. But here's the best part. Please notice, you see where we're protecting our trade. We're protecting our trade at $8.
What's the cost basis after the first month? $7.94. What does that mean? That means that we created after the first month a risk-free trade and it went down from there. In other words, no more money was on the table. That's the significance of this chart. You'll see here that this is what happens on the orange line when you get exercised at max profit. This is what happens when you actually get bailed out. And so during the first month, there might be a tiny bit of a loss if you get bailed out. But remember what I said, on average, we're staying in our trades four to five months. Some people are lasting as much as seven. Some people are ending around two or three. But look what happens. This is why we like to stay in our trades as long as possible. And that's because the gains go up not linearly. It's not 6% per month. It's exponential. In other words, when you calculate ROI, that's profit over investment. But if you're holding on to the position, every time you make a profit, the investment gets dropped a notch. Yeah? So not only are you increasing the numerator every month, but you're decreasing the denominator. That creates an exponential gain. The longer you hold these positions, the more exponential it gets to the point where you don't care if the trade goes against you. Because who cares if the trade goes against you? You're going to be, we're talking about the difference between making 80% and 65% return on your money. And you did, how many transactions did we do? Let me get rid of my chicken scratch. I got to watch the time very closely here. We wound up doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight transactions in a period of three months and walked away with close to 24% ROI. So we're not sitting there like staring at the computer and doing, this is all stuff that's, it's kind of like investing in a, a supercharged mutual fund. That's how I like to explain it. Okay, so you get the significance of this chart. We like to, to be as lazy as possible. So what do we get when the cost basis break even price is less than our protective bailout price? We get what's called a risk-free investment. So here's the three steps. One, buy or short an underlying security or buy a substitute option trading at parity. Step two, sell a near term at the money option for its premium value. You get an instant dividend and a profit buffer. Number three. Collar this with a married option that is one month out in expiration to protect your investment. Here's five major points. Number one, a lot of people are talking about using options directionally. Right now, especially during 2019, 2020, buying options is going to be a sucker's bet. In other words, the directional moves. A lot of people are questioning it. We probably in for some good sideways movements for the next couple of years. It's going to be better to be selling premium. You can generate a serious income selling options. In fact, we can insure our positions for up to 20 times return on risk. We're hunting for trades with a sniper rifle, not a shotgun. And it's really hard to screen for these trades because there's so many option chains and underlying symbols. That's why we use, and I'm going to show you really quick, this is our member portal here. This is what people get access to. We actually have created a screener that runs every night. You know, I'm loading it up right now. You can see some of the ticker symbols that our screener has found for us over the previous nights. A couple of, couple of tickers every night. Remember, we're only looking at maybe one or two a quarter. So out of these candidates that are being identified every night, I'm sure we can find one or two a quarter. In fact, we do. And I only have a few minutes left here. In fact, I have about five. So I've got to ask you a question. How would you like to never miss a pick? Minimize the amount of time you spend away from your loved ones and have support whenever you need it doing these transactions. It's all about saving time, creating clarity, and getting results, right? And I'm talking about cash money results. 
So is it okay if I take a couple minutes and tell you a little bit about my materials training and tools to see if they're right for you? I appreciate that. This is for someone who doesn't want to pay for multiple data subscriptions, wants everything they need in one place, doesn't want to miss an opportunity, wants to spend more time doing other things, doesn't want to do this alone, wants step-by-step -step instructions. These are for people who want to get consistent, reliable results. I'll tell you about Charlene if we have time at the end. She's somebody who wound up getting cancer, had to leave her job, and thought she was going to die. She was totally happy about that until she didn't die. They cured her cancer. But they wouldn't let her back into work because she was weak. She had no livable retirement. She was too young to collect. Social Security or Medicaid or anything like that. So she came to us. We started to teach her how to do the investing on selling premium. All she does is reads a daily table, finds a stock, follows the strategy. She recently made 14% by just spending about 15 minutes reading about the company, following the chart, and then waiting for expiration, right? So Charlene can do it recovering from cancer. She now travels. That's We keep in touch. So here's how the program works. This is the program that we do. There's the screener that comes part of the program, which is the key part because our screener goes through 900,000 option chains and about 11,000 securities every night and finds the good matches between the two. Tells us what to do, when to do it. We just check it out. But the weekly wet workshop is kind of where everybody brings their vetted screened picks from their watch list. And they throw it at us during the first five minutes of the call every Thursday evening. And we help people learn because we'll go through, usually we get between five and 15 tickers thrown at us. We'll go through them in front of everybody and help you decide which is the best and the lowest hanging fruit and explain why. Then we'll go through that winning pick and we'll actually create a trade that everybody can take. And we'll print out the notes at the end in text form so people can apply it to their portfolio and make it happen. So every week, not only are you learning at our workshop, and we have an open question so you can open ask questions along the way. Not only can you learn in that workshop, but at the same time, you get we call it learn while you earn. You get to have a trade written out for you that you can follow and do one of these investments with us every week. You also get your questions answered. In fact, I want to be there when you do your first trade. I want to look over your shoulder to make sure you're doing everything right. So I want you to reach out to me when you're doing this trade. And I have a double your money back guarantee. Do this program for six months. Do it exactly the way I do. And not only if it isn't profitable for you, will I give you your money back but I will also give you double your money back. That's how profitable, you have to do exactly the program, but we have a double your money back guarantee because we're that serious. So this is what I want you to do. Go right here to optioninvesting.org forward slash FOT, FOT as in Festival of Trader. Don't go past go, don't collect $200, you deserve it. Let me show you what that does and then I'll be done. I'm gonna visit it right now. Option investing and i hope they put that up in the chat section so yep it just appeared in the uh, chat section dot org forward slash fot so you can copy it down or you can click on it from the chat section if you visit this you'll come to a page this will explain everything about our program and at the bottom you'll see the price it's a very special price i set up just for you it's 497 dollars there's no other type of investment. I'm not asking you for a monthly. You get access to the screener. You get access to me. You come to the workshops, all of that good stuff. And just to answer the question that Mike asked, so where is the big gain on the market crash? Mike, I didn't have enough time to talk to you about the bear put diagonal debit spreads and the covered puts, but those are the covered calls upside down. So the covered calls, we talked about profiting to the top side. Mike, when you use a covered put or, a, or the covered put against the leap, you profit to the downside. So great question, great, great question. These are not naked. These are all covered positions, even when you do them on the leap. So 497. And if you want to learn more, of course, about <coughs> the foundation, 
You can reach out to me at aj at tradingtrainer.com or give me a call at 970-266-8146. I'm at extension 87.